Welcome back everyone to Hearts of Iron 4 with the Millennium Dawn mod. And unfortunately, I was a bit of an idiot. My Italy campaign just crashes now. Uh, there were just one too many updates and what I did now is I just downloaded a version that does not require the Steam Workshop, doesn't get uh, constantly updated. I'm gonna play as Japan uh, in the veteran difficulty. Better in difficulty, non-historical purposes, and I'm going to strengthen China, the United States, just to be safe. Or, I guess I cannot strengthen the... Oh, right. There's apparently two USAs. Interesting. And I guess Russia as well. My objective is going to be to rush, yes, rush, and uh, try to defeat China as quickly as possible. Essentially, uh, what I'll do is I'll try to avoid uh, just the game being boring. And yeah, that's just about it. Because I've noticed that in Hearts of Iron, a lot of the times there's a very boring buildup. Very, very boring buildup. So, what I'll do is I'll try to get into the action as quickly as possible. So let's get all my fleets uh, gathered up into one place. Now, we start in an interesting position. We have big strong China as a neighbor. The two Koreas, especially this one, is nothing to be laughed at. The Republic of China, which is also not weak at all. The Philippines, and a few other countries in Southeast Asia. We shall try to reclaim all of those for Japan. And to do that, we need to go down the path of war. And yeah, otherwise we are just not going to be able to do anything because we start with quite a few national spirits, one of which is Article 9, our constitution that was imposed to us by the United States, those American devils, um, just prevents us from declaring war and justifying war goals. Because, of course, we have sworn solemnly, you know, under gunpoint, so it doesn't really matter, but technically we have sworn never to use war as an instrument of national policy. So what we need to do is we need to go down the national re renewal, ideological debate, the future of Japan, aggressive strategies, warrior state. Uh, I'm thinking that I'll go for the warrior state, but I might also go for the popular state. I do not know. I mean, Huh. I might even try to do democratic state. Just if you had any suggestions, just please type in. But I'm fairly certain it's gonna be border state. And then I'm gonna try to subjugate and wait. Uh, this is take claim state. And this is public. So I'm gonna try to colonize. I try to. Oh no, this is monarchist. No, no, no. I want fascist. Yeah. I want to go in and take them out. Let's go in and take out everyone. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to do it as quickly as possible. Let's do it. Um, we need some infantry equipment, some support equipment, at least two factories of those, a couple factories of motorized, a little bit of mechanized, a little bit of artillery, a little bit of anti-air and anti-tanks. Those are both good. A couple main battle tanks, a few fighters, and a lot of attackers as well. Because they'll go on our carriers, which we shall build. And then a few UCABs to help with the ground support. For that, we're gonna need some resources. Uh, we're gonna take them from Malaysia. Who we might be able to convince to join our faction. Aluminum is going to come from also Malaysia. They're gonna love us due to all the trade that's gonna be coming in from us. Thailand, tungsten, do we need any of that? Probably for our artillery guns. Uh, we're not gonna give anything to China though. China would be pretty bad. Steel. We don't need any steel. Good. And then chromium. Chromium is going to come from the 
India. The Philippines might be some place where we end up fighting in, so I don't want to give them any advantages. For our, uh, for our research, we are going to go for mobile warfare. Land doctrines are always good. I'm also going to go with modern CIM software for some production efficiency. And then we can upgrade our armor. Type 90 main battle tanks, Type 89 IFBs. For civilian factories, um, we're just going to go with military factories. Because we don't really need anything else. We need to fight people. We need to kill people. For our naval dockyards, we have... Hmm. Okay, so... We don't have any aircraft carriers research, but we have missile cruisers. So let's start producing some missile cruisers and send them to Chugoku. Which is this naval base. The one where we're uh, gathering up our squadrons. For our divisions, we have brigades and divisions of all kinds. We have engineer brigades. Not good. We're going to disband those. Motorized divisions. Okay. Can edit those out. Motorized Brigades, not good. Need to uh, either turn them into Motorized Divisions or disband them. Armored Brigades, fine. Not a terrible division, but the Armored Division is better. So we're going to start by training Armored Divisions and uh, Motorized brigade, uh, motorized Divisions. We also have Artillery Brigades and Anti-Aircraft Artillery Brigades. They're not good, per se. But what I'll do is I'll strengthen them. I'll actually change the Motorized Infantry. Uh, to Mountaineers later, and I'll use them as my coastal defense. So, first things first, let's switch around the anti-aircraft batteries, who are going to become my garrisons. Home Guard. They're going to be under the command of uh, Makia Ota, who shall be promoted. Field Marshal. Just have some extra divisions. They are going to garrison everything. So far, I'm not going to be able to garrison everything with just them, but soon enough, I shall be able to. Just a naval basis. Yes. So that, of course, decreases the time for that quite a bit. Um, then I need to find out the motorized brigades and the motorized divisions, but that's something that I'm going to do off camera when it, things are. Um, yeah, when things are skipping, so that it's not too boring for you all. Uh, we still have some insufficient resources, but that's just going to come later. We have low manpower, but that's just because of our particular situations due to um, the Article 9. We also have Emperor Hakihito, which gives us who gives us national unity. And so I'm going to stop right now and get back to you once things get interesting. So I'll see you then. Well, we just got an event, flavor event, so let's... I'm, go I'm actually gonna uh, mostly read all of these. The Nakamaguro, or... Oh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce these things right. The Railmint. On March 8th, 2000, around 9 a.m. Japanese time, a TRTA... What's TRTA? I do not know. Hibiya line train was swi sideswiped by another train, killing five and injuring 63 after the rearmost car of the train had derailed in a tight curve, crashing into a bypassing vehicle. So, can I lose national unity or lose political power? The situation will rectify itself. Yeah, of course. Um, so, we have completed national renewal, which just gives us uh, some more national unity and political power. Let's go with the path of war. With the lessons of the past learned, we can only emerge from the past generation. From the past generation, a stronger state. We will find her back to the old ways, to the way of honor and sacrifice, and thus to the way of war. Yes. Just expect a lot of bad Japanese accents in this. Keizo Obuchi, our prime minister, has suffered a stroke, and now we have the Diet as the leader, well, quote unquote leader, interim government body, uh, minus 50% political power. So, a loyal servant of the Liberal Democratic Party and the Japanese people has been Prime Minister of Japan since July the 30th, 1998, after the resignation of Hashimoto. Uh, 
and the LDP lost the upper house election in 1988. He has been described as calm, qualified, and efficient, but few people saw his sudden health drop coming. So, he's dead. Uh, now, our leader is Yoshio Mori. This guy. Uh, he looks... Uh, he looks like he has some problems. What is that face? I do not know, uh, but he's, I guess, fine. In the meantime, we're still doing the Path of War. And wait, what? Updated equipment and production. Oh, right. So we researched those mechanized. Now we're researching rocket artillery and APCs to improve our forces. We reorganized our navy. We have a, a decent amount of ships, actually. Um, 54 frigates, 15 destroyers, and 12 corvettes, along with 15 submarines. In fact, I'm gonna switch around those corvettes as well. Corvettes can do convoy escort. And everybody else is going to do their own thing. Convoy raiding. And then you go with search and destroy. Yep, that's gonna be the setup of my fleet pretty much the entire time. So of course our new prime minister already decided to be a fool. Uh, he had a bit of a political gaffe. On the 15th of May 2000, the newly elected prime minister got into major negative headlines for the first time when he publicly referred to Japan as a divine nation centered on the emperor. Well. We can either lose a lot of, well, a decent amount of national unity and a decent amount of political power and get some monarchists, or say, what a fool. Uh, I think we shall just say, what a fool, because, I mean, monarchists, yeah, sure, you're okay, but um, we don't need it yet. Go away. Uh, then we also have 140 political power do something. Um, we could improve our taxes, go to high taxes. That would not be too bad. But I think what we're going to do is... Wait, why does it say that we can do political advisors when we can't, clearly? I think what I'm going to do is I'll try to get somebody here. Somebody from that camp. Oh, right, we just lost some political power because of the Battle of War. So the grand Japanese heritage cannot be put into question by our past experience and our most shameful defeat in 1945. Yes, of course. And then we shall go for recruitment programs to get some more soldiers. To wage war, we need soldiers. To get soldiers, we need recruiters. We are unstoppable. What? That's the first time I've seen him win. So Al Gore won the election. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, so the leader of the Japanese Red Army, Fusako Shigenobu, was ar arrested in Osaka in the, okay, on November 8th, 2000. The Japanese Red Army was a military communist militia aiming to destroy the monarchy, to topple the Japanese government, and to start a world revolution. Following the arrests, the Japanese Red Army would soon be disbanded in early 2001. So we can either set her free to get some... Commies. Now the Japanese Communist Party, the Nihon Kyosanto, has 11%. Not weak. And that's good. But uh, so far I don't think we're gonna need the communists. I don't think so. Again, you have a chance to tell me otherwise, but you know. What about this? Now we're going down the ideological debate in terms of France, so we're getting tons of poly power. I have uh, gotten the ubiquitous sound workhorse and also a military purist to speed up my gaining of army experience. What I plan to do is um, have my motorized divisions, well, um, actually become a little bit more motorized than mechanized, as in I would like them to be fast. Something like this would increase their maximum speed by a lot. 
and then it also puts their combat buff down so then I'm going to add some of that and hopefully get to like 40 40 combat, uh, not combat with 40, yeah combat with mm, not good how about Yeah, something like that. I mean, it's horrible. I know it looks right now horrible, but um, that's gonna, what I'm gonna try to do. And then, with my armor divisions, I'm gonna try to replace them with mechanized infantry. Because, I mean, they're not gonna be... They're not gonna be reaching any uh, higher levels of um, speed with armor in them. So that's what I'm gonna do. In the meantime, though, I think I forgot to uh, yeah I forgot to get some rocket artillery produced. That should be quite important because eventually we're gonna need those rockets on the double. And yes, in the meantime, I was um, exercising my troops to get some army experience. I'm still basically doing the same as before. Other than that, I've gotten some extra troops lying about, but nothing really too big. And again, uh, in the whole wide world, nothing interesting happened except, well, the United States. Okay, so then we're gonna go with the future of Japan, aggressive strategies. Oh well, um, it looks like we need the Army Doctrine School or the Navy Doctrine School to do the future of Japan. Okay. So the Army Doctrine School would be down here, and the Navy Doctrine School would be right here. I think we're gonna go with the Army one. So we need to get Bushido. The name translates to the Way of the Warrior, and is somewhat similar to the Western concepts of knighthood and chivalry, but more focused on discipline and harmony with oneself. Of course, because it's Buddhist nonsense. Um, we still cannot get anything that's not civilian economy. We could go away from free trade, but free trade is serving us just fine. I could um, unregulate my borders, but so far, minus one consumer goods is fine. Modern construction tools. That's gonna help us construct an industry. Then we shall get some... Uh, atomic research is still quite a bit far away. That's annoying. So let's do protected networks. We like our uh, networks protected, I guess. And then I want to have a war industrialist. Where is a war industrialist? Here. He's going to be useful, Mr. Yashiro. And then we get the Mitsubishi F2, so the new fighters. Let's get some more MPAs. MPAs, of course, being the, the, the game's version of naval bombers. We're gonna want those to protect our home islands from uh, if the United States decides to declare war on us. Wonder if, uh, if China has a navy? Yes, they do. Okay, so China having a navy isn't that good. We're gonna need to step up our shipbuilding later. So some dockyards would be quite important for that. Let's put some into production, and I'm gonna actually prioritize them over the military factories because. Having the superiority in the navy front is pretty much going to be incredibly important. So far it seems like we have... We have gotten the first of our battle cruisers, and the missile cruisers in here are uh, quite devastating compared to um, some of the other ships that are around. For example, as you can see, compared to a uh, frigate, which is the second tier of ship, they have about 10 times the firepower. Nothing weak, nothing weak. For, of course, what we're going for is carriers, though. Uh, now we get some more poly power. There's a lot of different types of advisors that were um, added by Millennium Dawn, which is very good. I think I should go for... Well, see, because... The backroom backstepper is good for the political power and for the trade deal opinion factor. But he's not that good at anything. He's just a more of a jack of all trades. The international banker is really amazing because of the factory output increase, but he has a consumer goods factories uh, increase, which would be pretty weak. So what I might be going for is a naval industrialist to improve my dockyard construction speed. 
Yes, I still do not know what I'm going to be doing. So any um, any people down here, royal aristocrats, conservatives, etc. I'm just gonna leave for now. And yes, naval industrialist. Let's go with that. Which is of course going to speed up the construction of these dockyards quite a bit. Already the dockyards aren't the hardest things to build. They cost 3,250 as opposed to um, 3,600 of military factories. And that's going to improve the construction speed even further, which is of course great. So it's going to allow us to uh, build the missile cruisers at full speed. Something that I absolutely want to do. Uh, Corvettes, you get split off, and then you get merged with the main fleet. Parliamentary Crisis. Initially, the great Parliamentary Crisis, our news outlets now talk about, broke over a minor loophole in tax code that affected our budget in a pretty insignificant way. This has now grown into a tirade of insults from one side to the other, and has affected our national prestige and democratic legacy at home and abroad. So we can either intervene with the Supreme Court, and gain a parliamentary crisis, which decreases our political power gain by 50%. But this increases our stability. <laughs> or we could say there is nothing we can do against and get communists. I think we're going to have the Supreme Court intervene, just to get ourselves some stability. Because once we reach some extra stability, things are going to get much, much better. In the meantime, what is everybody else up to? Let's see. Oh, unknown, really. That's sad. Okay, so we got the Army Doctrine School, and now we can finally do the future of Japan. In the meantime, I have been upgrading my decryption. And I don't think it's... Oh, actually, now it's enough to see what other people are doing. So Russia's doing Russia first. Ooh. That might be a lot. A lot of problems for the Europeans. In the meantime, I am improving my navy overall with research. I have researched the Soryu class, which I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be called that. Uh, these are the World War II ones, actually. World War II names, as you can see, Taiho class, etc., etc. But it's fine. Because, I mean, we, we know what these are. And, ooh. Hmm, still a little bit too early for artillery. Could do modern heavy equipment for resource gain efficiency. Do we even have any resources that we are... Well, lots of steel. So we do produce tons of that. Uh, but... Yeah, I'm not sure how useful it is. But we do have free trade, so more more resources are good because more people might be uh, interested in buying them, giving us civilian factories for free. I think now is the time to start researching some weapons for our army. For our army, I have been training up a few divisions of marines. As you can see, this is their final form. Well, kind of final. I might add one more. I might add support anti air. Support anti air is fine. Uh, they have a 40 combat width. They are 15,000 men with 240 artillery guns. So they are very, very powerful at just getting somewhere and smashing that. And then can't really do much. It had a bit of a strike. But I am improving my stability through the random events that are happening. Let's see who uh, who's doing something else interesting. Germany's probably gets navy. Air, uh, France it's air force. Italy's going down the European cooperation. Special treatment. So you're also going down Europe, right? Is that special treatment? Yeah, careful cooperation. So looks like the Brits aren't doing anything particularly strange. They still might do Brexit. If they have 15% support for UKIP, which is, I believe, a reactionary party. Yeah, 4% reactionary. So for now, they are at 4%. They can't do Brexit. Southern Project, that's for industrial development. Of course, the United States has a lot of that. People work up. 2002. So Brazil wins. Aha, Brazil wins against Germany. In what country? Anyway. Uh, Russia is doing the Russia first, and China, what is China doing? Eastern military industry. Well, that's not good. I mean, it might be good because we might be able to get it, but it's not good because they're getting stronger. But they appear to be, have gone the peaceful rise. 
Is it true? Yes, it is true, because they have the plus 30 recent deeds opinion modifier. Uh, we have the plus 30 modifier. We're also building our first carrier, the Kaga class. Um, unfortunately, it's got the worst icon of them all. But I guess it's fine. Um, it's just a test. It's a bit like the the first Chinese character, the Liaoning, Liaoning, and well, it's just there. It's gonna be useful, but it's not gonna be the main uh, mainstay of our navy after we get some better ships. We can get ourselves a new advisor, captain of industry. Internal intelligence officer, those are all fine. I don't want a public moderator. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like all of these aren't all that good for now for me. So what I'm going to go for is... Infantry equipment, I think. Maybe industrial concern. Or maybe I could go with low taxes and then very, uh, oh no, sorry, high taxes and then very high taxes. So moderate taxes is just normal. Then high taxes increases your factory output, incre uh, decreases your research time, and decreases your consumer goods factory factories at the price of national unity. It is really good. So let's jump up the taxes. And this is going to even further decrease national unity per week. And even further increase the bonuses we are gaining. So most likely, it's something that I'm going to want to do as soon as possible. So now we got the future of Japan, we shall go for the aggressive strategies. And when that's done, I think I'll uh, leave it to you to decide where I go next. I do get a minus 0.10% weekly change to the taxes, though. Uh, oh, sorry, to the... Uh, to the national unity, so I might have to close the border. Oh no, right, okay. Okay, so this is. Oh, elections. Public elections are being held. The ruling party has won. Okay. So that's fine. A little bit of extra poly power allows me to do something else. Um, I could do a. Uh, whatchamacallit? A popular figurehead for more national unity. Public moderator would uh, even out the minus 10% per week, but he's not very good regardless. There's nothing else for monthly uh, national unity. That's not good. I'll go for the infantry equipment designer. And then I'll go for the industrial concern. Oh, I could have gone for the maximum tax collection. That's just a bit of an issue. Oh well. Um, yes, in the meantime, all of these are uh, not entirely reinforced because we still need some light mechanized. I did make some switches in the makeup of those divisions, so not quite as good as before. But it's just a transitional period. Need some more resources. Damn, I need a lot of resources. I want to improve my stability. That's always my priority. Because stability improves everything, so it's nice to have. Let's do modern heavy equipment? No. No need for that. We can do encryption algorithms. Let's do improved artillery before we forget. Would not be too good to um, to forget. Of course, artillery is quite quite important. Yeah, and it seems like I'm lacking in artillery. So, production screen. Okay, so I have more guns lined up. Good. Okay, so I've got um, military factories underway. I've got tons of them coming up. The problem is, uh, I'm having to use a lot of my civilian factories for a trade. Yeah, I'm importing 15 uh, 
cons consumer goods factories. Well, I'm having to use 15 consumer goods factories for imports, 27 for consumer goods, and of course only 16 remaining for construction. Which is also why it's going to be really good to have... Um... Wait, this was in engineering, right? Yes, it's continuing the decryption algorithms. Because I want to see what people are doing. Modernize the military. Wow. So German, uh, Germany is fixing the Bundeswehr. Hmm. That's what they said last time too. They're just gonna fix the Wehrmacht. You know. They have the Bundeswehr shortcomings. What is that? British special treatment. German legacy. Bundeswehr shortcomings. Oh, that's very bad. Oh well. Uh, yeah. So we abandoned the defensive principles. With the world growing more and more tense, the Japanese government has declared today that it would be ready to defend the Japanese interest in its ideological persistence both at home and, more importantly, abroad. This is a major approach in Japanese foreign policy. So, I'm gonna let you guys decide where I'm going. And I thank you for watching. Hope this wasn't too boring. <laughs> Next time, we'll probably get into some war. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this first part of Japan, and I'll see you soon.